Hello, Composition 2, and welcome to week eight. Uh, we are just one week out of spring break, so that should be good. Hopefully a little relief that you can feel like you're going to catch up uh, to everything else that's going on. So let us see. So we'll go into the week eight folder right here in our class, and you will see that our assignments are fairly simple, uh, though there's a lot going on uh, because we are continuing our book review that is going to be due this Sunday. Um, at 11.59 p.m. We're continuing our research. We've uh, just turned in the editorial analysis, so I'll be looking at that. And then um, I'm asking you to continue your research on your topic. Your editorial analysis should have shown you something about what you know and what you can do with the arguments in your topic and area and how you can start to really focus on uh, really narrowing it down and providing us with a better argument and call to action. So uh, the journal for this is just kind of what research do you have at this moment? And then to help with that, we also are doing a discussion board. It says discussion 19. It's not really a 19, but um, it's a paper outline uh, to basically what would you have? What would your paper look like if you had to kind of put it together? So I'm going to go through everything that we are doing this week. Uh, just kind of going through everything. So this will be our video and it's going to cover the topics of the research project discussion board. Uh, book review revision and journal three. And then um, just kind of going through some things. Um, I have, you can see it on my screen, you won't see it on yours. I have some feedback and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this available to you because this is something I've, I've done for previous years, but this is kind of a general feedback. It's not in particular to your papers, but it will also kind of just talk about these basic ideas and I'll be talking about this uh, sample paper to help you kind of figure out what you should be doing for your book reviews. If you're having troubles, you can, let's see, we've already done the turn it in. So I'm gonna delete that, sorry. Uh, so we've done the turn it in with the peer review. So hopefully you're able to get the feedback. I've sent that to you uh, individually. So uh, I'm sorry there were difficulties with the peer review, but. Sometimes technology is not as useful as we would think. To get to the book review to submit your final draft, you'll click on this folder and you'll be able to scroll all the way down to the bottom. This is due Sunday the 13th, 11.59 um, p.m., give or take, you know, 24 hours. We have our peer review. If you need to look at my comments on your draft, you got to click on this. Uh, view complete. If you want to look at the peer review stuff, click on this. So that'll take you through all of that good stuff. In addition, I want you to read from our Little Seagull Handbook uh, W4 on proposals and W16 annotated bibliographies. These will talk about the first parts of our research project. Um, those parts will be due. I do have some examples, uh, some recent examples, PowerPoint presentation and uh, proposal on annotated bibliography lessons. So make sure you look at that. Those are gonna be the first parts of our paper and I have a lot of stuff down here that's talking about everything within the paper. So make sure you look through that. Look at these samples that'll kind of take you through uh, what I am expecting from you. So read these and the links are also in here in this research project folder. Journal three, uh, I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna actually um, talk about the paper outline then come to journal three. So this is gonna be a long discussion post because I'm asking you to basically outline your paper based on what you know. So what is the purpose? Uh, explain what you wanna do with this paper. Uh, explain some of the sources that you're finding. What are you having trouble finding, that sort of stuff. What is gonna be your research argument? So just basically just main idea. Um, here's what I'm looking at for this topic. Um, some people disagree for these reasons. So you need to know the ins and outs of your topic why people agree and why people disagree and how do you counter those arguments of those who are disagreeing and then your call to action based on your argument and what you know what do you think needs to be done why is this going to work and why not so this is just an outline it's where you are right now it's not anything final it's going to change so that's an important thing for you to remember you're just kind of checking in you're going to get some feedback from me but in addition you're going to get feedback from your classmates and so once you have posted um, once the deadline has gone by, um, the 13th, you're going to go through and read through 
your classmates. I want you to read through all of them because some of them are going to be very similar. What I usually do is I, I put you into groups for this, but I haven't done that yet because uh, I want to make sure that we're more solid on our topics. But you're going to read them all. And then on six of your classmates, answer the questions. Is it focused enough? Does it answer the questions about the issue? Does call to action seem reasonable? And then uh, talk about the overall topic. What did you learn? What questions do you have? And then what sources from your own research might be useful um, if you have anything. So that'll be due. Uh, that second part will be due uh, sometime during week nine. So I, you have all spring break to kind of work on this as well. Uh, so not a huge rush. And finally, journal three, uh, I want you to do some preliminary research that's continuing the kind of stuff that we're doing. List three to five sources by author and title. Um, write about 350 to 500 words summarizing so these sources and, and kind of what you know. Um, and then just post that by Sunday. So it's a lot of work, but um, you should be doing this research anyway. It doesn't have to be um, you know, super exact, but at the same time, you need to know where your sources are and it's gonna keep you on track and you're gonna be glad you have some of this information when you ha actually have to go through your paper. So that is where we are for this week. If you have any questions, please contact me and I will be uh, in touch with you as soon as I can get back to you. Okay, have a good week.